I'm Katie Burns. I am the Governmental Affairs Manager for CenturyLink for Arkansas and Oklahoma. Um, I have been there for nine years. I would say that my main job for CenturyLink is to protect the goals um, and protect the assets of the company um, in Arkansas and Oklahoma, and that would cover both the regulatory side of the house as well as the legislative side of the house. When I started with CenturyTel um, back in 2003, we were basically a landline company, um, and that's who we served. And now, over the past, well, I would say eight and a half years, we have transitioned to CenturyLink, and we are now a broadband-focused um, and voice company. And so our, what we offer um, and who we are has completely changed over the past eight and a half years. Well, I've always been a person that has to have passion for what I'm doing. I was raised in, and I, I don't want to say just a politically charged family, um, but but I was. I mean, we had, you know, I grew up with lots of good debates at the dinner table and um, lots of different sides and different opinions. And I guess through my childhood, I just grew to love the process of politics. Part of my job working for CenturyLink, we are, a, a, you know, a telecommunications company, but we also have customers that we have to protect as well. And so I get to, to kind of portray both sides of that and, and let lawmakers know, you know, what's going to happen to the to their constituents and to our customers if certain things go through. And so that's when it becomes even more exciting because you're protecting people, um, you're protecting your company, and at the end of the day, you go home knowing that you're doing something that's important. Bill Maddox was a mentor of mine when I worked at Public Strategies, and he really taught me the art of just sitting down and listening to people and giving them the respect when they're talking to you and not just trying to force your position on them. And so when I'm in that mode, so to speak, then I'm very good at listening. My biggest piece of advice is to always write handwritten thank you notes. That is, you know, I mean, I just think it's so important. It's like a lost art. People don't even remember to write thank you notes anymore. A handwritten thank you note is one of the absolute best things you can do. If you have a job interview, follow up with a handwritten thank you note. Take the time to sit down and put a stamp on it and mail it.